is up guys? Benjamin and Ruth here for another Cheeky Wombat Must See Eat Do hit list video of our classic Japanese ski village experience at Hakuba. We have an avalanche of stories, photos and footage that we can't wait to share with you. So let's get rolling. We spent a week hitting the slopes near Hakuba and it was easily the best ski trip of my life. The village is built on skiing and snowboarding culture, so the atmosphere is energized with a sense of excitement and adventure. During ski season, the hostels are packed with tourists from all over the world ready to hit the slopes at the six resorts that are within driving distance of Hakuba. While the amazing skiing is reason enough to visit Hakuba, in this video, we'll instead be covering some non-skiing things to see, eat and do while you're staying in Hakuba. First up, the Monkey Park is our must-see pick for Hakuba. The Jigo Kudani Monkey Park is about a two-hour drive from Hakuba, but it's well worth the trip. After a bit of a trek to the gift shop where we bought our tickets, we were rewarded with views of endless snow monkeys hanging out around some hot springs. And no, unfortunately, you can't jump in the hot springs with the monkeys, but you can get pretty close and take photos of these monkeys, many of whom I'm certain have had more photos taken of them than most celebrities. Next up, ramen gyoza beer is our must-eat pick for Hakuba. We're not even going to try and pronounce the actual name of the restaurant, but they have a sign at the front that says ramen goiza beer, so that's what we're going with. To this day, I have not had a better traditional ramen experience. The restaurant is like an old traditional wooden lodge and we sat on a couple of bar stools enjoying our steaming bowls of ramen while looking out at falling snow. They're super popular during ski season and they fill up really quickly, so make sure to book ahead. Next up, the Suntory Hakushu Distillery Tour is our must-do pick for Hakuba. This place is also about a two hour drive from Hakuba, but an absolute must do for whiskey lovers. Everyone in our group were given green lanyards and encouraged to drink as much whiskey as we desired. That is, everyone who's not the designated driver who instead gets a pink lanyard and can't drink any whiskey whatsoever. Ruth drew the short straw, which is to be expected, all things considered. Hey! The two hour guided tour was super interesting. We were taken through the whiskey making process, including barrel making, distillation and aging. They give you these little handheld devices with pre-recorded tour guide comments in a range of languages, including English. The guided tour ends with a class on how to taste four different types of whiskies and make your own whiskey highball cocktail. Or in my case, how to taste four different glasses of water and make a mocktail. One of our friends got conned by Hakuba locals into buying a can of whiskey highball from a vending machine. Long story short, he's discovered his least favourite beverage in the entire world. Whiskey and soda is definitely an acquired taste. That's it for our must see, eat, do hit list video for Hakuba. Aside from heaps of skiing and snowboarding, we enjoyed lots of other cool stuff in Hakuba including pro beer pong, mountainside mulled wine, and igloo squatting. Check out the blog post accompanying this video for info on all of these extra activities and other delicious details of our Hakuba ski trip. There's a link to the blog post in the description which will take you to our home on the web, cheekywombat.com.au. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Finally, leave a comment below letting us know for what part of the world you would like to see another Cheeky Wombat Must See Eat Do hit list video. Sayonara, and we'll see you soon.